I mean, I'm here for this, but I have no idea what she's talking about. All right, guys, I am back and I am so excited to watch this episode. I have missed the scams like so much and I really need to like try to try to try to watch it and film when I do feel decent um, because I've missed them so much and I'm feeling like I'm missing out. Uh, Druck just got a new season, renewed for a new season when everyone thought it would be over. So I feel lucky that I get to watch this knowing it's going to continue, whereas like Unfortunately, everyone else probably watched it when they thought that this was the last season. Um, so I can't, I just cannot wait. I don't know who the new season is about though, if they even announced it, but I, I'm just really excited too to watch Kumi and Fatu's season and just like get there because they're going fast, like typical lesbians, you know. Well, Fatu's not, but you know what I mean. And so I'm just, I'm excited. I, okay, running out of breath. I'm gonna try to not be coughing throughout this, but. You guys know I'm sick and I'm just struggling, but I'm gonna I'm gonna watch it and I'm gonna enjoy it. Um, but yeah, if you want to get the uncut reactions to all of these Scam Universe episodes, as well as pretty much every other every other show that I've reacted to on YouTube, the link will be at the top of the description for my Patreon. There's also just I think like a two dollar tier or something just to support my channel and to help me out, you know. Um, but otherwise, they're still gonna be on YouTube. If you can't, please by all means don't break the bank for me. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to watch this episode, guys. Here we go. <laughs> what is this song? Mr. Bot? I can't even believe that she's looking this up right now. It could not be more obvious to me. Like, she did everything but throw herself onto Fatu. Fatu needs to get it together. Girl, if she asked you that, Fatu, honey, I'll forgive her though for being a baby gay. I'm looking me on. Didn't want to talk about it on Christmas. Deswegen hast du jetzt eine Schildgröße und machst einen Fußball, weil du gerade anfangen wolltest. She's relaxing before it starts. Come on. Das geht dich auch nichts an. Doch. No, it really isn't though. Ich du dein Abi schaffst. Kein Rumdaddeln auf deinem Handy wegen irgendwelchen Mädchen. Nimm das bitte ernst, okay? Hast du kapiert? Ja. Huh. I'm wondering what the role, like, obviously it's her brother, but like, what is, why did he say like, I can't expect mom and dad to support you another year? Why, why is that like up to him? It's, it's kind of interesting. He's like taking on like a father figure to her, but I don't understand why. Okay. <laughs> Cause this is what she needs to be doing right now, right? She's gonna, oh. I was just gonna say she's gonna see Kumi. You better fucking swipe right, bitch. Wait, which one's the good one? Bitch. Oh. Listen. I can imagine that like being in high school and looking to date a girl and like having that happen is like iconic. That's so cool. I love that. Did she say something already? She said, math who? Oh my god. The, she's like, <laughs> fucking jamming. <laughs> she's like, am I dreaming? 10 hours later, her brother is gonna walk, walk in and like take her phone or something. This is just so typical lesbians. I fucking love it. This is so cute. I can't get over it. Not graduating is worth this happiness. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> they just stayed up all night talking. That is so cute. Her brother's gonna be like, so did you did you do what we talked about? And she's gonna be like. <laughs> I really studied all night. No idea what happened. Oh my God. Me and Sarah, my girlfriend and um, our friend Niles and his boyfriend, or his guy, whatever. Um, we found this bar that had like this under basement like game room and we literally played ping pong for like hours and hours and we all sucked at it. We were just smacking it and everyone was like laughing at and watching us and stuff because it was hilarious. We were not playing by the actual rules. We were just smacking it. I have a little famous now. Cheers, cheers. <laughs> Lass mal bei ihm einbrechen und uns in seinen Rechner hacken. Seriously, Mani, nicht jeder von uns kann sich eine Anzeige leisten. Oh. 
Egal, dann machen wir irgendwas, was uns nicht ist. What the f***? What was that about? I felt that awkward silence from, from over here. Kumi's gonna come up, I guarantee it. Or it's gonna be some creepy ass guy. Oh god. I get what Ava's saying, but like, she's very clearly joking, you know? Ich weiß nicht, ich werde das Gefühl nicht los, dass sie einfach alles scheiße findet, was ich mache hm. oder sage. Ich habe das. I'm glad I wasn't the only one that felt Ahnung, weird <laughs> about that. Zeit. Versuch doch einfach mal, was mit ihr alleine zu machen. Also einfach nur du und sie. Stimmt. Wir sind eigentlich nie zu zweit. I would be kind of like weirded out, not weirded out, but like I wouldn't be comfortable doing something alone with her if like I already feel weird, you know? I would be nervous that it's gonna like hurt me, not physically, but like hurt my feelings. Or if she just like doesn't want to or makes excuse excuses. Um, I must lose. Is she upset that she went out and isn't hanging with her? Is this for New Year's? My parents. Miles Morals. What? What? They got high Oh my god. They're just on the same wavelength. He didn't actually cheat. He read her mind. I know, I was gonna say literally everybody was looking and listening. Voll die Aufmerksamkeit auf so richtig wichtige Themen endlich mal da ist. Und ich weiß, es klingt jetzt vielleicht ein bisschen cheesy, aber ich glaube, wir sind wirklich die Generation, die was in der Welt bewirken kann und richtig was verändern kann. I mean, I'm here for this, but I have no idea what she's talking about. Ich möchte wirklich probieren, mich zu bessern und für all die liebevollen und tollen Menschen in meinem Leben. This right here made me like her so much more. Unterstützen und einfach I respect that so much. For people that are like rude in seasons, it's like easy to dislike them, but to, for someone to take like ownership of it, I really like respect that. Like she even admits like I was not a good person. I love that they don't need to just like go get drunk and shit. They're like actually saying some like deep shit. Wirklich? Ey, könntest du mal für mich fragen? Ja. Ey, geil. Perfekt. Ja, yeah. yeah. das läuft. I wonder, like... Fatu, was wünschst du dir dann fürs nächste Jahr? See, even like that, like, you can tell that she's... She's um, doing that because she doesn't want to feel like she has, like... Uh, she can, you know, do anything because she's got, like, daddy's money, you know? Mit euch zusammenbleiben? Because maybe that's why, like, Ava feels like she can't really, like, relate to her. Ja, keine Ahnung, aber Kumi hat mir geschrieben und meinte, dass sie jetzt auch irgendwie herfährt. Und dann haben die beiden gesagt, ja, dann kommen sie jetzt auch. Scheiß drauf. Ich lass mir den Arm nicht von denen verderben. Yeah! I feel like it's just, like, she can't really relate with her. So it's hard for her to, like, I don't know. It's it probably, like, she probably has some, like, deep-rooted annoyance with that. So that it's not that she, like, doesn't like her. It's just, like... She doesn't like the situation, you know, which I get. I understand. It's hard to like hear people say those things, even though it was, she was definitely joking. That's the only thing that I'm like, gotta be easier. But like, period. Hear me out. What if they're each other's New Year's kiss? Does Germany do that? I hope so. <laughs> Your hair looks so cool. Do you want some? I think this is schön kann ein tolles Gespräch mit seiner Ex führen. Oh, he's klären, das super. Annoyed, that's why. Toller, toller Junge. I wonder, oh my god, imagine the next season's about Constantine. I wonder I wonder what his story is. There's something going on there. You call it Colk and look at ass. Alter, muss diese Scheiße immer so fucking kompliziert sein. Why can't Constantine just gehen? stop? Like uh, it's inappropriate. Yeah. That's, that's, that's <laughs> Oh shit, you can't be able to it. Ooh. I feel like... Can you still come to me? I feel like Malin or him. I don't know how to say his name. Ismail? They would be so good as the mains. I'd be really interested to see him. Or them. I don't know if they're non-binary or what. But that would be really cool to see a se uh, season with that. We haven't seen that yet. These drunkies are gonna start a forest fire. 
That's so cool. I, I'm so that like, I'm so impressed that they had her speak Vietnamese. That's really cool. Come here. Kiss, bitch. This is übrigens heute echt nice aus. But why is she like so hot and cold though? Richtig butch. Ich hab's heute gesagt. Nein, 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 nein. <laughs> She's like, I'm nein, new also, to this gay thing. Nein, nicht. Ich find's so mega interessant, wie du dich immer so über alles richtig schlau machst. Das ist so richtig <coughs> typisch Skorpion. Oh, kennst du mein Sternzeichen? Ja, also ich weiß, es ist mega, mega, mega creepy. Fuck, you should so just totally creepy. own it, honestly. Ich mein weißt du? Also schon creepy, aber mm. so. Mm -hmm. so just sorry. Just be confident. She literally was looking up gay terms. Come on. I do like seeing Kumi like a little bit more like nervous. Oh, is this a cow with me? Whoa. Please. That was so smooth. I'm so impressed. <laughs> she probably put that shit in her own hair. I was like, oh, can you, can you help me? <laughs> Mm. Don't go. She better not go back on it. Aww. That was everything. All right, there we go. That was season six, episode three of Druck. That was so fucking good. That was so good. We there kind of a, kind of a lot happened in this episode from like beginning to end. The biggest thing being, they matched on a dating app. I don't know what dating app, but they they matched on a dating app, and I don't under I still don't understand why Fatu is like googling all this shit when like they literally said the episode before at the very end, they said they had used like female pronouns or like said something that had to like that pointed out that she also wanted to find women. So when she saw her and like swiped and then it was a match, just, I can only imagine like the relief and the like excitement that she felt. Things are not going well with her schoolwork though because she stayed up all night talking to her. It seemed like Kumi kind of ghosted her. I don't know why she kind of ghosted her when she said like, do you want to come hang out? And then Fatu was all upset because she like opened Instagram and saw that Kumi was with them and like didn't say anything. So I don't know what that was about. I don't know if Kumi is kind of like struggling with her sexuality or what. Um, and that kiss at the end, I think was like the first time, in like the conversation before it was the first time you really see Kumi kind of like nervous. She's always the one that was like, like leading the conversation and like she didn't seem nervous until then when Fatu started laughing about the butch comment. And then she was like, oh, did I use it wrong or did I say it wrong, you know? And I think, I think maybe it just has to do with the fact that she is still new to it. Like she was researching terms, you know, she's not completely like comfortable yet. So maybe that was why she, maybe that was why she did that. Um, and then at the end when she just kind of like left after they were kissing and she, like they said, are you ready to go? And she was like, yeah. And then just kind of left. <laughs> I don't know. I hope that the next episode doesn't start with her like going back on that and kind of doing what she did before by ghosting her. I want, I'm wondering if the next season is gonna be about Malin or Malin, or I don't even know, or Ismail, Ismail, Ishmael? I don't know, Ugh, I don't know. I don't know how to say his name. Please tell me how to say, tell me how to say it so I can learn. I feel like it would be so good if it was either of them two that, that it's about, like just one of them two, I don't know. I just think it would be really good. I love that they had them, him, them, uh, wearing the lipstick. It was, it was really cute, but yeah. The whole Ava and Malin thing is, is pretty interesting. I'm glad that she took her advice and kind of like, it's, it's interesting because Ava kind of called her out when she was like, seeming like really privileged, which she definitely was, but at the same time it was a joke or I thought it was a joke. Um, but it's cool that she kind of took that and, and was kind of, kind of digested it a little bit and then was like, you know what, I kind of want to make my own money and not have to live off of my parents and whatnot, you know? And I think, I feel like Ava probably really, really respected that. Don't know what's happening with Constantine. I think he's so annoying. I don't understand why he won't screw off. Like, you guys dated for, what, two months? Like, get over it. And he's always trying to talk to her, starting crap, but like, 
I don't know, I feel like they could do a season on him and maybe it would give more insight into like who he is. I could see them doing that and then like we kind of like flip and then we realize like why he's acting the way that he is and like why he is the way he is, which would be honestly kind of pretty cool. But I think there's other people that I would rather see first. I don't know, but I think it'd be kind of annoying if we got him right away without getting like these other people. But um, I feel bad too because Josh is like drinking heavily because he's annoyed and jealous, you know, but I wish Nora would kind of just be like, no, you know what? Like I'm, I'm putting this boundary down. No, no more talking. Like we're not doing this anymore. No. And um, kind of do that because it's, it's not fair to her and it's not fair to Josh either to worry because Constantine wants to talk every two seconds. It's kind of annoying. Um, but yeah, I think, I think all of the characters were like really good in this episode and all the like the new year resolutions and all that stuff. I just thought it was it was good. I really enjoyed the episode. Um, that kiss at the end, the chemistry, and the fact that she's like, oh, like, help me with this gum, and then she easily, like, pulled it out, and then she just, like, was like, whoop, and then kissed her. It was so smooth and impressive, honestly. Um, but yeah, I hope from here on out we see them, like, actually kind of get a relationship going here and not just back and forth, like, ghosting, not ghosting, you know, that kind of thing. Um, because Fatu doesn't deserve that, but... I'm also so curious about the brother situation and why he was kind of like treating her like a kid, like like his kid, I guess, more more specifically, and why he's acting that way. Um, I don't know. Maybe that's like more normal in Germany than than in the U.S. So I'm not just I'm just not used to it. I don't know. But um, yeah, I'm interested to see more of that too. It's just it was all around a really strong, really good episode. Um, but yeah, I think that is pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.